viewers of the program Political Desk. And today I just want to quickly deal with this guy called uh, Rotendo, uh, who is a member of ZANU PF and also who is a supporter of Kukuraundi and also the hater of the people of Matebele land. He has publicly uh, demonstrated that uh, it is known by everybody. And uh, today I'm responding to the recent remarks. In fact, this guy has uh, been saying this, has been demonstrating that he hates the people of Matebele land with a passion for, for, a, for actually a long time through misinterpreting our history, through misinterpreting what we have gone through as a society. One of the things that he misinterprets uh, is the Kukurawundi genocide, whereby he says ZANU-PF was actually uh, fighting against uh, the forces that were anti the ZANU-PF regime, sponsored by the CIA and also the apartheid government. That is untrue. And that has to be corrected. Uh, if that, uh, if those sentiments goes uncorrected, uh, they will actually, in, they will actually be interpreted as the truth. Firstly, Zanu PF, uh, Zanu PF, uh, it is known and it is public knowledge that it implemented the Kukurawundi genocide to the unarmed civilians. They implemented the in fact Kukuraundi genocide before it was implemented. It was a pre planned program. If you read the nineteen seventy nine Green Plan, uh, whereby Zanu PF planned everything and everything that it is actually doing now and everything that it has done and achieved. Uh, you will find out that Kukuraundi genocide was part of the program. And they stated clearly in their 1979 grand plan that the enemies of ZANU PF are the people of Matipele land, or what I call the people of Mtwagas, uh, that includes the Ndebele people, uh, and also the white people, uh, that include our former colonizers. They actually state uh, the Ndebele people and the white people as their number one enemies. Who knows why? Uh, it's unknown. And we know that they have been fabricating history, uh, saying that Ndebele, uh, the Ndebele people or the people that came with Mzuligazi from Zululand and others uh, actually who joined him along the way, uh, fought with the people of Mashonaland, and of which there is no known backing. There is no known backing historically that involved the people of Mashonaland with the people of Mzuligazi or Lobehun. There is actually no record of that particular history, except the propaganda that has been created by the ZANU PF, spearheaded by the former uh, ministers of education like Chikwedere. Uh, and if you read the history of Zimbabwe, it is a fabrication, it is propaganda, it is lies. Uh, if you, it, it is what exactly is happening on the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation. And this guy claims that the killing of the innocent civilians of Matebele land uh, who, who, whose number is unknown, but it surpasses something more than 100,000. He jokes about it and say the government was justified to do it because the people of Matebele land uh, were rebelling against the, 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 the ZANU PF government. Firstly, I want to set the record straight. Uh, the people of Matebele land, they don't even feel uh, as the people of Zimbabwe. That is point number one. And they, they didn't actually sign up to be to belong to Zimbabwe. Uh, that is the second uh, point. And uh, the third point is that they don't deserve what the likes of uh, Rutendo and Zano PF have done and continues to do for them. Uh, you see, it is inhuman to celebrate the butchery of innocent civilians. The people of Matabelele never did anything to ZANU PF or to the people of Mashonaland to deserve Kukurawuni. And th th that should be said and emphasized, emphasized over and over again. And we are not politicizing this matter. This matter is a very sensitive matter. The world hasn't even listened to us as the people of Matabelele land, and we remain the victims. And those people were killed by ZANU PF. They are still buried uh, in, in, in they, they are not buried in fact wherever they were killed and hidden they are still wherever they are 
as 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 inhuman as the situation is, it is what it is, and it is very very disheartening to hear the stupid and the, uh, the idiots like Rudin playing about such matters. It's high time. Uh, uh, actually, the people of Mtwagazi has to treat Rutendo for the who he is. This guy is a heartless monster. This guy, this guy uh, continues. I mean, he's an unrepented. He's an unrepented Kukuraundis and the staunch supporter of Kukuraundis. Someone who supports a genocide. And the genocide that hasn't been dealt with. And we should treat him like what he is. He is a stupid idiot. Uh, who doesn't think, who doesn't have a heart, who doesn't have a, a conscience. The world does not deserve to have such people.